Ajigaba of Lagos. More worries for Tinubu as PDP chief Tin reveals how billions went to him monthly. Hello, my wonderful people. More exposition and more exposure of um, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu uh, comes to light, and um, this is not looking good for him because this is showing to the whole world how selfish this man is and what exactly do they do with all the money. It's a question we should be asking. What exactly do they do with all the money? You know, an APC chieftain has revealed how much goes to Ashwaju Bola Tinubu every month from Lagos State. Why there are people who are honestly suffering and dying. And most of these people do not even give back to the society. All they do is their own political affluence and their and their group and their you know circle forgetting about others this is rather very unprecedented please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time let's get all the details what exactly is happening more trouble for the ajigaba of lagos tinobo as apc chieftain reveals how billions went to him monthly according to reports reaching the decks of the park trick tracker from T Sahar reporters, People Democratic Party chieftain Bode George has accused the stewards of the ruling of Progressive Congress Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu of receiving 9 billion naira monthly from internal, internal generated revenue account of Lagos State. Bode George made this known while being interviewed by Yoruba TV. He stated that the monthly flow out from revenue and momentary corruption is the stolen is the sole reasons why Lagos State isn't growing rapidly. In his words, do you know how much is Lagos State internal reven revenue generated monthly? Sixty billion minimum, and someone Tinubu sitting somewhere is taking fifteen percent of that. Nine billion monthly. But the judge went on to say that things are very hard in the country. There is hunger in the land and people no longer believe in the electoral system because they feel it's not free and fair. He stated that the will of the people isn't respected and that's not who they voted for. Who they do not vote for become the winner and begin to lead them. Nigerians are very angry. Yet one person called Tinubu will sit where he is and collect 9 billion naira every month aside all that money that comes to him and everybody feels this is all right nobody is speaking and questioning and condemning all these evil acts and activities going on in the government people are suffering children are not in school hunger market women barely trying to make ends meet yet ashwaju bola tinobu collects 15 percent of the internal revenue generated in lagos state every month 9 billion naira is what he takes from the 60 billion generated monthly. Hello, my hello, my people, you heard it. That is Ashwaju Bola Tinubu, what he has been doing. How he collects 9 billion naira for himself and leave others to scrap for the rest. Don't forget that the governor will also say he's the governor. He will collect money. Don't forget that every other person will come up and say, Ah, me too, I will collect my money. Do you see what is good? Do you see? Do you see where this is going? At the end of the day, where is the money? Do you know that Lagos State would have even done much more better than what it is today? But with people like this in position who do not want the truth to be heard, with people like this who are selfish, you know, with people like this who do not want the other people to survive, all they do is for themselves. All they do, and still he wants to be the president of the nation. After nine billion naira monthly, his wife is the has been a senator now. I don't know what she has done to the Lagos Central. She's been there now ten years. They just keep renewing the contract, yes, because there is no election. If there is election, I want to believe that they will vote her out. But let me tell you something. Like Bodek Judge clearly stated, the will of the people is greatly circumvented so that those who they vote for, they do not see. Those who do not, they do not vote for becomes the leaders. So how do you believe in such a statement? You know, that's why people at times, not saying you should do it, but at times I do not really blame people who during elections sit at home, make a good meal, eat and just relax themselves. Because at the end of the day, when you look at the whole scenario, scenario of what that is happening, will your will really count? 
you know, if people are saying we are tired of APC, yes, and they go out and vote, does it really stand? Does it really count? That's the question. Does it really amount to anything? Does it really reflect in the vote? Because at the end of the day, you'll be surprised what the polls is telling you. You'll be wondering, is it the same election we all stood here and we all said we do not want this person unanimously? We voted. You know, in the, in, apart from June 12th election, one of the most cogent and most honest elections we've had. I did not say it is so. I did not say it's totally honest, but at least close to what we'll call a good election in this country has been the Edo State Governorship election. Yeah, one of the closest to what election should be has been the Edo State Governorship election. That is where Governor Gordon Obaseki, you know, whether Oshomone liked it or not, and all the forces and all the powers could not just stand against it and Obaseki won anyway. And yesterday we saw the Supreme Court affirm it and uh, that is it. There is no, there's no, there is no going anywhere. It is what it is. So Shomol uh, Obaseki is the governor for Edo State and will be the governor for the next, um, I mean, he's already spent over six months in office anyway. For the next couple of uh, years, uh, three, three years plus is going to be the governor. So, I mean, that's the closest we've had since date. That's the closest we've had, you know, where the will of the people, you know, uh, uh, has shined through. That's the closest we've had. Apart from that, we've had Django, we, we've had Django, Django Rees. We've had people come in and tell you that they are doing this or that. And guess what? It does not hold anything. People who are clear thieves, people who are clearly, you know, people who are being looked, looked for internationally, are the lords in Nigeria. So when you look at it, you are beginning to really wonder wh 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 where exactly, I mean, as a country, where are we going to? In case you are not aware, uh, Tinubu's daughter is the one collecting revenue in the market. That is not even included in the scheme of things. So his son is the one in charge of the whole, if you want to advertise anything, you want to put it on a billboard, it has to go through uh, Shei Tinubu. So who exactly are we deceiving here? You can tell that the Tinubus have taken over Lagos and they've put a system in place. The wife is a senator for the past 10 years. For the past 10 years, there is no, all the students that have been graduating, all the people that have studied political science, gifted and all that, nobody's qualified to go into that position. Nobody, I repeat, nobody other than Shinub, uh, Tinubu's uh, family and allies. So, I mean, look at the whole scenario. What exactly is happening? Where do we go from here? Is there truth in Nigeria? Is there anything? What is the word truth? Truth is relative at this point in time. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.